Good day and welcome to our video. I'm from Golden Detector Company in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. So for today's video, this is regarding the new release of the Geogram Germany company, the Cobra GX8000 Plus. And now, it's with the 3D ground scanner search system. This Cobra GX8000 Plus is used for detecting gold, treasure, and cavities. This is all the parts and accessories for the Cobra GX8000 Plus. And of course, we have the main unit. And it's with the robust design, even with Type-C port, color display, navigation buttons, and lithium-ion battery. And we have also two pieces of antenna that we will gonna put here to enhance the signal. We have the main unit of the 3D ground scanner, ion, bionic, and ionic search system. Sensor, or IBI sensor. And we have these two pieces of rod this is used for single person and there is also a antenna to put it or to use on the single person rod we have four pieces rod or rods we have four pieces to use for the dual person long range search system so we have also these wires to connect this is the transmitter okay this is the new transmitter design also with robust design color display with power on and also connect you can connect this one and use to connect with the single person or dual person uh, long range system rod then we have also this uh, this one is the uh, geo unit this is used to enhance the signal and you have to attach this one with as a wire to connect with the main unit and you have to put it under the soil this rod uh, at least 10 centimeters from the ground. So uh, we have also the tablet included. This is with the GeoGround 3D Analyzer software. So you can analyze the uh, data captured or the image captured and it will give you detailed information like the depth, even the uh, target information. And this is a waterproof and shockproof case. So this is all the parts and accessories for the Cobra GX8000 Plus. And now I'm going to show you the main unit screen. So we have the search system here, long range. We have also the ionic and the bionic search system. And we have also settings for this main unit. Okay, you can select the language you prefer. Of course, this is all the available languages. And we have also volume, brightness, and regarding the or about the main unit or the device Cobra GX8000 Plus. So we have uh, about meaning the geogram is the brand, model GX8000 Plus, and serial number, even the software version. Yeah. Now I'm going to explain to you the long range search system in the Cobra GX8000 Plus. And of course, we have the main unit to prepare. We have to use this one. And also the wire connected with the main unit. And this is the geo unit. Okay, this G unit is for enhancing the signal and also you have to uh, put it on the soil, this rod, up to 10 cm uh, beside the main unit of the Cobra GX8000. And uh, by the way, uh, we have also or we need to use the single person or for now we are going to use the single person for example. So this antenna is removable also and you can make it longer and shorter. And of course, better is the longer. And uh, also there is a wire. Okay, wire connected to the transmitter. Okay, two single person rod, you can connect it in the transmitter. Okay, and once turned on, it will show you that it is connected. It will, uh, actually, it will connect automatically. And you can see it here on the left side, upper left side, LRL, meaning it's connected. And now let's take a look for the settings of the long range. So you have choices here, single, and you have also the dual. So for now, we're going to use the dual, uh, the single, uh, what I mean. Then go to the target and select which target you prefer to search or to locate. For example, we have bronze, cavity. We have also copper, diamond, gold, gold treasure, gold veins, iron, platinum, and the silver. So, for example, you will 
locate or you want to search for gold treasure only. So once you select it, it will only locate for the gold treasure, no other target. And for the soil, so of course, it has high mineral, low mineral, snow, dry, wet, stony, rock, and normal. So it depends on what type of soil you have on the ground. And for the distance, so of course, minimum is 50 meters and is adjustable. So if you want 1,050 uh, meters only to, de to uh, detect, uh, by the way, this is the range, so it will not exceed. So again, this is the maximum, 3,000 meters. And for the depth, of course, minimum is 1 meter. You can uh, select this one or adjust, so it's adjustable. So this one, for example, you want 21 meters, so it will only locate for the depth of 20 meters. It will not exceed. So if you want more depth, then you can put it or uh, set it in maximum of 50 meters. Then after that, summary, all the settings that you made, mode, single, gold, treasure, and then normal for the soil, 3,000 meters distance, depth is 50 meters. Then you can press start or OK. Then now you can start the scanning and you may start now to search for the gold treasure target so this is how to use the single person uh, rod so uh, first of course you have to hold it like a little bit down position and of course you have to walk uh, slowly and and of course once these uh, uh, two rods will move left meaning you have to follow it whether it is going to go right or move right you have to follow it so uh, until these uh, two rods will make an X like this. So meaning there is a target under the ground. So while moving, for example, these two rods will turn 90 degrees. Okay, 90 degrees like this or more than 90 degrees, let's say. So meaning the target is already at your back or you pass the target already. So once you go back again to the target, it will give you an X position like this so meaning again once again the target is under the ground or under these uh, two rods so now i'm going to explain to you how to use the two rods in dual long range system in cobra gx 8000 plus so for example uh, the two rods will make a position like this like the x meaning there is a target under the ground and if this two rod will go down at the same time meaning also there is a target under the ground. And if the two rods will go left like this, so meaning you have to move on the left side and again repeat the operation or the process. And for example, it will move to the right side, then meaning you have to move to the right and repeat the process or operation once again. Then for example, uh, these uh, uh, two rods will go wide at the same time meaning there is a hollow space or even voids under the ground and there's another one like if the uh, two rods will go up at the same time meaning uh, there is a target or gap or hollow space behind the two person so all you have to do is to rotate 90 degrees and then repeat the process again from the mentioned uh, process that I mentioned earlier, then uh, at least you will know once you repeat the process, you will know if that is a real target or a void or hollow space under the ground. And now we're going to use the 3D ground scan search system in the Cobra GX 8000 Plus. So of course, you need to turn on the main unit and uh, connect all the geo unit, even the two antenna, you need the tablet with the 3D analyzer software. And also the main unit, this is the one that we're going to use to scan the ground and use the 3D ground scan. And by the way, of course, you have to turn it on and on this tablet included, you have to connect it with the main unit, scan, do the scan like this, then it will show you the Cobra GX8000 and just connect. And now it's connected and go back and you can set all the path direction type lines and pulses so for example we're going to do like uh, this uh, 
uh, parallel path and we have direction left or right so i'm going to uh, start at the left okay and manual of course uh, we can uh, do this manual and the uh, manual is uh, you have to press each time that you will gonna step and for the lines and pulses let's make it like five also five for the pulses and lines and start and you can see the direction that you will gonna do okay you don't have to turn just like this move left or right then same position okay just skip and then now you can start scanning now we're going to do the scanning on the ground using this 3d ground scanner uh, main unit and the tablet so we did the settings earlier so i'm going to start on the left so each time i'm going to step i have to press this trigger button after this you have to go back okay same position then Turn on the right. So by the way, each step, it has to be 30 centimeter or the gap is between the uh, step is 30 centimeter. So again, we will go back. So after that, you can save uh, the scanned process. Then you can analyze the data and you will know the depth. So after saving the file, just press this and you can analyze now. And uh, by the way, you can view it in 2D and even in 3D. So uh, this green part, meaning there is no uh, target available or there is no target at all. So uh, this red color, meaning there is a metallic object. And for the blue one is the hollow space under the ground. Or it can be cave. It depends on the shape and the image. So uh, this one, you can view it in 3D, of course. Okay. At least you can analyze the ground. So this is the target. We have target here, red color. Then you can reset. Zoom in. And you will know the data and also the depth. This is the more important. Of course, the depth of each column or each target. So, for example, the red color, meaning there is a 1.0 meters or 1 meter uh, depth. So, on this hollow space on the upper part, it's showing 1.0 or 1 meter. And another part is 0 0.8 meters. So, less than 1 meter. So, uh, now, you can select the specific type of soil. And of course, the correct type of soil. So at least it will give you the correct depth of the image. So you can select, you have neutral, concrete, silt, stand, sandy, I mean, clay, low mineral, high mineral, and stony. So whatever you have, you can select that one. So at least it will give you the correct uh, depth. And you can filter it out. Okay. So for example, you don't want uh, the green part or uh, without any target. Just press this and it will only focus on the hollow space and even the metallic object so uh, this uh, dark blue meaning there is a, a deep okay or deep uh, or big hollow space under the ground for the light blue meaning if there is a light hollow space under the ground okay for the yellow part meaning that is the ionic content of the metallic object now we're going to review the ionic search system in cobra gx 8000 plus so uh, for now we need to use this one also and uh, this main unit by the way you have to put these two antenna whenever you are using this long range or even a uh, 3d ground scanner or uh, for all search system you have to put these two antenna and by the way for the ionic of course you have to use this main unit just turn on okay then wait for it it will gonna be connected to the main unit automatically and by the way this is the uh this is the handle so this one is going to be attached here okay and you can release it like this there is a button here okay and this ibi sensor you can uh, press this one to remove and if you want to put it so just like this and now it's connected already you can see that there is a 
uh, icon there on the left side that it's connected. Okay. So uh, now we're going to uh, choose the Ionic. So you need to press this and OK. And there is a choices like Ion and Ionic search system. So uh, for now, we're going to use this Ion. So let's select Ion. Okay. So as you can see, uh, it will only uh, uh, focus on the target or the metallic object target. And uh, by the way, this Ionic search system, it will uh, uh, detect all kinds of metallic object. And for the ion, uh, it will only focus on the metallic object. Okay, once there is a target and you are near to the target, it will give you more sound or give you a 100% uh, louder sound. So this one is the reset. So by the way, it's like this. You can reset and once you have target, it will give you a sound like this and alert and even on the screen so uh, again we will go back and check for the ionic so uh, now it turns into ionic search system so uh, this one it will give you a, a, a information for the metallic target and also for the cavity target like if there is a hollow space under the ground that is uh, 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 detected by the sensor so it will give you an information that there is hollow space under the ground and if there's metallic object of course it will give you a signal like this that there is a metallic object target okay this is the use of the ionic and ion search system so again once again by the way uh, the use of this ion and ionic uh, search system it's will it will only uh, locate the long time buried object and even the cavity and now we're going to select the bionic search system in cobra gx 8000 plus so uh, again we will gonna use this uh, main unit okay uh, all the parts and accessories the sensor and the handle it should be uh, connected with the main unit okay and it's already connected with the main unit of the cobra gx 8000 plus and you have to select the bionic okay Bionic search system, and uh, by the way, the Bionic search system is uh, like a Ionic search system, okay? But the difference is that you will gonna lock one target, it's like a specific target, like the gold bracelet, okay? Like you're going to put like this, for example, you have to put it on one place that there is no uh, metallic object, only this one. Then after that, you can lock, and after locking, it will only search for the same content of this metallic object. Once you've locked, you can turn on the location, on the location that you want to search for this same content of that target. Okay, so now let's see. And as you can see, it's already in the Bionic search system. Okay, if you're going to lock, just press this trigger button. Okay. Cobra GX8000 Plus, available now at Golden Detector Company. For orders and more information of the Cobra GX8000 Plus, you can contact us at the number on the screen.